the Wikimedia Foundation, Inc., or Wikimedia for short and abbreviated as WMF, is an American 501 nonprofit organization headquartered in San Francisco, California, and registered as a charitable foundation under local laws. Best known as the hosting platform for Wikipedia, a crowdsourced online encyclopedia, it also hosts other related projects and MediaWiki, a wiki software. The Wikimedia Foundation was established in 2003 in St. Petersburg, Florida by Jimmy Wales as a non profit way to fund Wikipedia, Wiktionary, and other crowdsourced wiki projects that had until then been hosted by Bommies, Wales's for profit company. The foundation finances itself mainly through millions of small donations from Wikipedia readers, collected through email campaigns and annual fundraising banners placed on Wikipedia. These are complemented by grants from various tech companies and philanthropic organizations. The foundation has grown rapidly throughout its existence. By 2021, it employed over 550 staff and contractors with annual revenues in excess of 160 million US dollars, annual expenses of around 110 million US dollars, and a growing endowment, which surpassed 100 million US dollar in June 2021. Mission The Wikimedia Foundation's mission is to empower and engage people around the world to collect and develop educational content under a free license or in the public domain and to disseminate it effectively and globally. To serve this mission, the Foundation provides the technical and organizational infrastructure to enable members of the public to develop wiki content in multiple languages. The Foundation does not write or curate any of the content on the wikis itself. The Foundation collaborates with a network of individual volunteers and affiliated organizations such as Wikimedia chapters, thematic organizations, user groups, and other partners in different countries all over the world, and promises in its mission statement to make useful information from its projects available on the Internet free of charge in perpetuity. It also engages in political advocacy. The Foundation's strategic direction formulated in 2017 for the next 15 years, envisages that the Wikimedia Foundation will become the essential infrastructure of the ecosystem of free knowledge by 2030. History Internet entrepreneur Jimmy Wales and online community organizer slash philosophy professor Larry Sanger founded Wikipedia in 2001 as an Internet encyclopedia to supplement Newpedia. The project was originally funded by Bommies, Wales's for-profit business. Since Wikipedia was depleting Bommies's resources, and the idea of placing advertisements on Wikipedia was very controversial in Wikipedia's volunteer community, Wales and Sanger thought of a charity model to fund the project. The Wikimedia Foundation was incorporated in Florida on June 20, 2003. It applied to the United States Patent and Trademark Office to trademark Wikipedia on September 14, 2004. The mark was granted registration status on January 10, 2006. Trademark protection was accorded by Japan on December 16, 2004, and in the European Union on January 20, 2005. There were plans to license the use of the Wikipedia trademark for some products such as books or DVDs. The name Wikimedia, a compound of wiki and media, was coined by American author Sheldon Rampton in a post to the English Wikipedia mailing list in March 2003, three months after Wiktionary became the second wiki based project hosted on Wales's platform. The foundation was granted Section 501 status by the U.S. Internal Revenue Code as a public charity in 2005, meaning all contributions to the foundation are tax-deductible for U.S. federal income tax purposes. Its National Taxonomy of Exempt Entities Code is B60. On December 11, 2006, the Foundation's board noted that the corporation could not become the membership organization initially planned but never implemented due to an inability to meet the registration requirements of Florida statutory law. 
the bylaws were accordingly amended to remove all references to membership rights and activities. On September 25, 2007, the Foundation's board gave notice that its operations would be moving from Florida to the San Francisco Bay Area. Some considerations cited for choosing San Francisco were proximity to like minded organizations and potential partners, a better talent pool, as well as cheaper and more convenient international travel. The move was completed by January 31, 2008, with the new headquarters on Stillman Street in San Francisco. In October 2017, the headquarters moved to San Francisco's 1 Montgomery Tower. On October 25, 2021, the foundation launched Wikimedia Enterprise, a commercial Wikipedia content delivery service aimed primarily at big tech companies. In June 2022, Google and the Internet Archive were announced as the service's first customers, though only Google will pay for the service. Projects and Initiatives Wikimedia Projects Content on most Wikimedia Project websites is licensed for redistribution under v3.0 of the Attribution and Share Alike Creative Commons licenses. The Foundation owns and operates 11 wikis whose content is written and curated by unpaid volunteers. Any member of the public is welcome to contribute, registering a named user account is optional. These wikis follow the free content model, with their main goal being the dissemination of knowledge. They include, by launch date, Wikipedia Online Encyclopedia, Wiktionary Online Dictionary and Thesaurus, Wikibooks Collection of Textbooks, Wikiquote Collection of Quotations, Wikivoyage Travel Guide, Wikisource Digital Library, Wikimedia Commons Repository of Images, Sounds, Videos, and General Media, Wikispecies Taxonomic Catalog of Species, Wikinews Online Newspaper, Wikiversity Collection of Tutorials and Courses, while also serving as a hosting point to coordinate research. Wikidata Knowledge Base Certain additional projects provide infrastructure or coordination of the free knowledge projects. These include MetaWiki Central Site for coordinating all projects and the Wikimedia community. Wikimedia Incubator for language editions and development. MediaWiki helps coordinate work on MediaWiki software. Wikitech Technical Projects and Infrastructure Affiliates Wikimedia affiliates are independent and formally recognized groups of people intended to work together to support and contribute to the Wikimedia movement. The Wikimedia Foundation's Board of Trustees has approved three active models for affiliates, chapters, thematic organizations, and user groups. Affiliates are intended to organize and engage in activities to support and contribute to the Wikimedia movement, such as regional conferences, outreach, edit athons, hack athons, public relations, public policy advocacy, glam engagement, and Wikimania. Recognition of a chapter and thematic organization is approved by the Foundation's board after an affiliations committee composed of Wikimedia community volunteers makes a recommendation to the board. The Affiliations Committee approves the recognition of individual user groups. Affiliates are formally recognized by the Wikimedia Foundation, but are independent of it, with no legal control of or responsibility for Wikimedia projects and their content. The Foundation began recognizing chapters in 2004. In 2012, the Foundation approved, finalized, and adopted the thematic organization and user group recognition models. An additional model, Movement Partners, was also approved but as of May 19, 2022 has not yet been finalized or adopted. Wikimania Each year, an international conference called Wikimania brings the people together who are involved in the Wikimedia organizations and projects. The first Wikimania was held in Frankfurt, Germany, in 2005. Wikimania is organized by a committee supported usually by the National Chapter, in collaboration with the Wikimedia Foundation. 
Wikimania has been held in cities such as Buenos Aires, Cambridge, Haifa, Hong Kong, and, in 2014, London. In 2015, Wikimania took place in Mexico City, in 2016 in Isano Lario, Italy, 2017 in Montreal, 2018 in Cape Town and 2019 in Stockholm. The 2020 conference scheduled to take place in Bangkok was cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, along with those of 2021 and 2022, which were held online as a series of virtual, interactive presentations. Technology the foundation employs technology including hardware and software to run its projects. Hardware Wikipedia employed a single server until 2004 when the server setup was expanded into a distributed multi-tier architecture. By December 2009, Wikimedia ran on CO located servers, with 300 servers in Florida and 44 in Amsterdam. In 2008, it also switched from multiple different Linux operating system vendors to Ubuntu Linux. In 2019, it switched to Debian. By January 2013, Wikimedia transitioned to newer infrastructure in an Equinix facility in Ashburn, Virginia, citing reasons of more reliable connectivity and fewer hurricanes. In years prior, the hurricane seasons had been a cause of distress. In October 2013, Wikimedia Foundation started looking for a second facility that would be used side by side with the main facility in Ashburn, citing reasons of redundancy and to prepare for simultaneous multi data center service. This follows the year in which a fiber cut caused the Wikimedia projects to be unavailable for one hour in August 2012. Apart from the second facility for redundancy coming online in 2014, the number of servers needed to run the infrastructure in a single facility has been mostly stable since 2009. As of November 2015, the main facility in Ashburn hosts 520 servers in total which includes servers for newer services besides Wikimedia Project Wikis, such as cloud services and various services for metrics, monitoring and other system administration. In 2017, Wikimedia Foundation deployed a caching cluster in an Equinix facility in Singapore, the first of its kind in Asia. Software the operation of Wikimedia depends on MediaWiki, a custom-made, free and open-source wiki software platform written in PHP and built upon the MariaDB database since 2013, previously the MySQL database was used. The software incorporates programming features such as a macro language, variables, a transclusion system for templates, and URL redirection. MediaWiki is licensed under the new general public license and it is used by all Wikimedia projects. Originally, Wikipedia ran on use mod wiki written in Perl by Clifford Adams, which initially required camel case for article hyperlinks, the double bracket style was incorporated later. Starting in January 2002, Wikipedia began running on a PHP wiki engine with a MySQL database. This software was custom-made for Wikipedia by Magnus Manska. The Phase 2 software was repeatedly modified to accommodate the exponentially increasing demand. In July 2002, Wikipedia shifted to the third-generation software, MediaWiki, originally written by Lee Daniel Crocker. Some MediaWiki extensions are installed to extend the functionality of MediaWiki software. In April 2005, an Apache Lucene extension was added to MediaWiki's built-in search and Wikipedia switched from MySQL to Lucene and later switched to Cirrus Search which is based on Elasticsearch for searching. The Wikimedia Foundation also uses Civi CRM and WordPress. The Foundation published official Wikipedia mobile apps for Android and iOS devices and in March 2015, the apps were updated to include mobile user-friendly features. Finances The foundation mainly finances itself through donations from the public, 
collected through email campaigns and annual fundraising banners placed on Wikipedia, as well as grants from various tech companies and philanthropic organizations. Email campaigns include emails asking donors to leave Wikimedia money in their will. The foundation is exempt from federal income tax and from state income tax. It is not a private foundation, and contributions to it qualify as tax deductible charitable contributions. In 2007, 2008, and 2009, Charity Navigator gave Wikimedia an overall rating of 4 out of 4 possible stars increased from 3 to 4 stars in 2010. As of January 2020, the rating was still 4 stars, based on data from FI 2018. The continued technical and economic growth of the Wikimedia Foundation and its operations mostly depends on these donations, but the Foundation also increases its revenue by federal grants, sponsorship, services, and brand merchandising. The Wikimedia OAIPMH update feed service, targeted primarily at search engines and similar bulk analysis and republishing, was a source of revenue for a number of years. Dpedia was given access to this feed free of charge. In July 2014, the foundation announced it would accept Bitcoin donations. In 2021, Cryptocurrencies accounted for just 0.08% of all donations and on May 1, 2022, the foundation announced it would stop accepting cryptocurrency donations, following a Wikimedia community vote. The foundation's net assets grew from an initial US$57,000 at the end of its first fiscal year, ending June 30, 2004 to $53.5 million US dollar in mid-2014 and $231 million US dollars by the end of June 2021. In the same year, the foundation announced plans to charge big tech companies for preferential access to Wikipedia content. Wikimedia Endowment In January 2016, the foundation announced the creation of an endowment to safeguard its future. The Wikimedia Endowment was established as a collective action fund at the Tides Foundation, with the stated goal to raise 100 million US dollar in the next 10 years. Craig Newmark was one of the initial donors, giving 1 million US dollars. Peter Baldwin and his wife, Lisbeth Rousing, donated 5 million US dollars to the endowment in 2017. In 2018, Major donations to the endowment were received from Amazon.com and Facebook and George Soros, followed in 2019 by another two million US dollars from Google, another 3.5 million US dollars from Baldwin and Rousing, 2.5 million US dollar more from Newmark, and another one million US dollars from Amazon in October 2019 and again in September 2020. The foundation itself has provided annual grants of five million dollars to the Tides Foundation for the purpose of the Wikimedia Endowment. These amounts have been recorded as part of the foundation's awards and grants expenses. In 2020, the foundation separately donated 4.5 million US dollars to Tides Advocacy for a Knowledge Equity Fund. This provides grants to organizations unrelated to Wikimedia that work to address racial inequities in accessing and contributing to free knowledge resources. In September 2021, the foundation announced that the Wikimedia Endowment had reached its initial $100 million fundraising goal in June 2021, five years early. Financial Development The data below come from the statements of activities in the audited reports. Assets do not include funds held in the Wikimedia Endowment. Expenses from the 2015-16 financial year onward include payments to the Wikimedia Endowment. Expenses The Wikimedia Foundation expenses mainly concern salaries, wages, and other professional operating and services. Payments to the Wikimedia Endowment are also classified as expenses in the Wikimedia Foundation's financial statements. Grants In 2008, the Foundation received a US$40,000 grant from the Open Society Institute to create a printable version of Wikipedia. 
It also received a 262,000 US dollar grant from the Stanton Foundation to purchase hardware, a 500,000 US dollars unrestricted grant from Vinod and Nira Kosla, who later that year joined the Foundation Advisory Board, and 177,376 US dollars from the historians Lisbeth Rousing and Peter Baldwin, among others. In March 2008, the foundation announced what was then its largest donation yet, a three-year, three million U.S. dollar grant from the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation. In 2009, the foundation received four grants. The first was a 890,000 U.S. dollar Stanton Foundation grant to help study and simplify the user interface for first-time authors of Wikipedia. The second was a 300,000 US dollar Ford Foundation grant in July 2009 for Wikimedia Commons, to improve the interface for uploading multimedia files. In August 2009, the foundation received a 500,000 US dollar grant from the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation. Also in August 2009, the Omidyar network committed up to 2 million US dollar over 2 years to Wikimedia. In 2010, Google donated 2 million US dollars and the Stanton Foundation granted 1.2 million dollars to fund the Public Policy Initiative, a pilot program for what later became the Wikipedia Education Program. In March 2011, the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation authorized another 3 million US dollar grant to be funded over 3 years with the first 1 million US dollars to come in July 2011 and the remaining 2 million US dollars to be funded in August 2012 and 2013 as a donor Doran Weber from the Alfred P Sloan Foundation gained board visitor status at the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees in August 2011 the Stanton Foundation pledged to fund a 3.6 million US dollar grant of which 1.8 million US dollars was funded and the remainder was to come in September 2012. As of 2011, this was the largest grant the Wikimedia Foundation had ever received. In November 2011, the foundation received a 500,000 US dollar donation from the Bryn Wojcicki Foundation. In 2012, the foundation was awarded a grant of 1.25 million US dollars from Lisbeth Rousing and Peter Baldwin through the Charities Aid Foundation, scheduled to be funded in five equal installments from 2012 through 2015. In 2014, the foundation received the largest single gift in its history, a $5 million unrestricted donation from an anonymous donor supporting $1 million worth of expenses annually for the next five years. In March 2012, the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, established by the Intel co-founder and his wife, awarded a 449,636 US dollar grant to develop Wikidata. Between 2014 and 2015, the foundation received 500,000 US dollars from the Monarch Fund, 100,000 US dollars from the Arcadia Fund and an undisclosed amount from the Stavros Niarchos Foundation to support the Wikipedia Zero initiative. In 2015, a grant agreement was reached with the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation to build a search engine called the Knowledge Engine, a project that proved controversial. In 2017, the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation awarded another 3 million US dollar grant for a three-year period, and Google donated another 1.1 million dollars to the foundation in 2019. The following have donated 500,000 US dollar or more each. Staff History Internet entrepreneur Jimmy Wales and online community organizer slash philosophy professor Larry Sanger founded Wikipedia in 2001 as an internet encyclopedia to supplement Nupedia. The project was originally funded by Bommies, Wales's for-profit business. Since Wikipedia was depleting Bommies's resources, and the idea of placing advertisements on Wikipedia was very controversial in Wikipedia's volunteer community, Wales, and Sanger thought of a charity model to fund the project. 
the Wikimedia Foundation was incorporated in Florida on June 20, 2003. It applied to the United States Patent and Trademark Office to trademark Wikipedia on September 14, 2004. The mark was granted registration status on January 10, 2006. Trademark protection was accorded by Japan on December 16, 2004, and in the European Union on January 20, 2005. There were plans to license the use of the Wikipedia trademark for some products such as books or DVDs. The name Wikimedia, a compound of wiki and media, was coined by American author Sheldon Rampton in a post to the English Wikipedia mailing list in March 2003, three months after Wiktionary became the second wiki based project hosted on Wales's platform. The foundation was granted Section 501 status by the U.S. Internal Revenue Code as a public charity in 2005, meaning all contributions to the foundation are tax-deductible for U.S. federal income tax purposes. Its National Taxonomy of Exempt Entities Code is B60. On December 11, 2006, the Foundation's board noted that the corporation could not become the membership organization initially planned but never implemented due to an inability to meet the registration requirements of Florida statutory law. The bylaws were accordingly amended to remove all references to membership rights and activities. On September 25, 2007, the Foundation's board gave notice that its operations would be moving from Florida to the San Francisco Bay Area. Some considerations cited for choosing San Francisco were proximity to like-minded organizations and potential partners, a better talent pool, as well as cheaper and more convenient international travel. The move was completed by January 31, 2008, with the new headquarters on Stillman Street in San Francisco. In October 2017, the headquarters moved to San Francisco's 1 Montgomery Tower. On October 25, 2021, the foundation launched Wikimedia Enterprise, a commercial Wikipedia content delivery service aimed primarily at big tech companies. In June 2022, Google and the Internet Archive were announced as the service's first customers, though only Google will pay for the service. Present Department Structure As of October 2, 2021, the Foundation had more than 550 employees and contractors. Mariana Iskander was named the incoming CEO in September 2021, and took over that role in January 2022. As of July 2022, the WMF has the following department structure Advancement, responsible for fundraising strategic partnerships, and grant-making programs. Communications, responsible for Wikimedia brand development, marketing, social media, public relations, and global awareness efforts. Finance and administration, tasked with ensuring responsible management of Wikimedia Foundation funds and resources. Legal, responsible for mounting opposition to government surveillance and censorship defending volunteer communities, facilitating policy discussions, and advocating for privacy. Product, responsible for building collaborative tools for knowledge sharing, user research, experience design, and cross-device support including mobile apps and voice technology. Talent and culture, responsible for recruitment and training. Technology, responsible for maintaining and developing the technology platform underpinning the Wikimedia projects. Collaborates with thousands of volunteer developers. Board of Trustees The Foundation's Board of Trustees has ultimate authority in all the Foundation's businesses and affairs. From 2008 it was composed of 10 members. Three selected by the community encompassed by all the different Wikimedia projects. Two selected by Wikimedia affiliates. Four appointed by the board itself, and one emeritus position for the community's founder, Jimmy Wales. In June 2015, James Heilman was elected by the community to the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees. 
In December 2015, the board removed Heilman from his position as a trustee, a decision that generated dispute among some members of the Wikipedia community. The board released a statement declaring Heilman's fellow trustees' lack of confidence in him as the reason for his ouster. Heilman later said that he was given the option of resigning over the last few weeks. As a community elected member I see my mandate as coming from the community which elected me and thus declined to do so. I saw such a move as letting down those who elected me. He subsequently added that while on the board, he had pushed for greater transparency regarding the Wikimedia Foundation's Knowledge Engine project and its financing, and indicated that his attempts to make public the Knight Foundation grant for the engine had been a factor in his dismissal. The volunteer community re-elected Heilman to the Wikimedia Foundation board in 2017. In January 2016, Arnon Gashu rejoined the board before stepping down amid community controversy about a no-poach agreement he executed when at Google, which violated United States antitrust law and for which the participating companies paid $415 million US dollar in a class action suit on behalf of affected employees. Since 2020, the board has consisted of up to 16 trustees. Eight seats sourced from the wider Wikimedia community. Seven appointed by the board itself, and one founder's seat reserved for Wales. Maria Sefideri chaired the board until she stepped down in June 2021. As of October 2021, the board comprised six community and affiliate selected trustees, four board appointed trustees, and Wales, occupying the founder's seat. Tim Keeve chairs the board alongside Al Shafii and Sagalov as vice chairs. Independent contractors Among firms regularly listed as independent contractors in the Wikimedia Foundation's Form 990 disclosures are the Jones Day law firm and the PR firm Minashin Media, the latter was founded by Craig Minashin, a full-time executive at the Clinton Foundation. For its strategy 2030 planning, the Wikimedia Foundation made extensive use of the services of Williams Works, a consultancy established by Whitney Williams, former trip director for Hillary Clinton. Disputes A number of disputes have resulted in litigation while others have not. Attorney Matt Zimmerman has said, without strong liability protection, it would be difficult for Wikipedia to continue to provide a platform for user-created encyclopedia content. In December 2011, the foundation hired Washington, D.C., lobbyist Dow Loans Government Strategies LLC to lobby the United States Congress with regard to civil rights civil liberties and copyright patent trademark. At the time of the hire, the foundation was concerned specifically about a bill known as the Stop Online Piracy Act. In October 2013, a German court ruled that the Wikimedia Foundation can be held liable for content added to Wikipedia. This applies only when there has been a specific complaint, otherwise, the Wikimedia Foundation does not check the content Wikipedia publishes and has no duty to do so. In June 2014, Bildkunstuffs Radisveriga filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against Wikimedia Sweden. On June 20, 2014, a defamation lawsuit involving Wikipedia editors was filed with the Mercer County Superior Court in New Jersey seeking, inter alia, compensatory and punitive damages. In a March 10, 2015, op ed for the New York Times, Wales, and Tredikoff announced the foundation was filing a lawsuit against the National Security Agency and five other government agencies and officials, including DOJ calling into question its practice of mass surveillance, which they argued infringed the constitutional rights of the Foundation's readers, editors, and staff. They were joined in the suit by eight additional plaintiffs, including Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch. On October 23, 2015, the United States District Court for the District of Maryland dismissed the suit Wikimedia Foundation v. NSA on grounds of standing. 
U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis III ruled that the plaintiffs could not plausibly prove they were subject to upstream surveillance, and that their argument is riddled with assumptions, speculations, and mathematical gymnastics. The plaintiffs filed an appeal with the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit on February 17, 2016. In September 2020, WMF's application to become an observer at the World Intellectual Property Organization was blocked after objections from the government of China over the existence of a Wikimedia Foundation affiliate in Taiwan. In October 2021, WMF's second application was blocked by the government of China for the same reason. In May 2022, six Wikimedia Movement affiliate chapters were blocked from being accredited to WIPO's Standing Committee on Copyright and Related Rights by China, claiming that the chapters were spreading disinformation. In July 2022, China blocked an application by seven Wikimedia chapters to be accredited as permanent observers to WIPO. China's position was supported by a number of other countries, including Russia, Pakistan, Iran, Algeria, Zimbabwe, and Venezuela. Excessive Spending and Obtrusive Fundraising In 2014, Jimmy Wales was confronted with allegations that WMF had a miserable cost-slash-benefit ratio and for years now has spent millions on software development without producing anything that actually works. He acknowledged that he had been frustrated as well about the endless controversies about the rollout of inadequate software not developed with sufficient community consultation and without proper incremental rollout to catch show-stopping bugs. During the 2015 fundraising campaign, some members of the community voiced their concerns about the fundraising banners. They argued that they were obtrusive for users and could deceive potential donors by giving the impression that Wikipedia had immediate financial problems, which was not true. The Wikimedia Foundation vowed to improve wording on further fundraising campaigns to avoid these issues. In February 2017, an op ed published by The Signpost, the English Wikipedia's online newspaper, titled Wikipedia Has Cancer produced a debate in both the Wikipedian community and the wider public. The author criticized the Wikimedia Foundation for its ever-increasing annual spending, which, he argued, could put the project at financial risk should an unexpected event happen. The author proposed to cap spending, build up the endowment, and restructure the endowment so that WMF cannot dip into the principle when times get bad. Wikimedia Foundation Executive Director Catherine Marr responded by pointing out that such an endowment was already created in 2016, confusing creating an endowment with building up an existing endowment. Knowledge Engine Project Knowledge Engine was a search engine project initiated in 2015 by WMF to locate and display verifiable and trustworthy information on the Internet. The K's goal was to be less reliant on traditional search engines. It was funded with a 250,000 US dollar grant from the Knight Foundation. Some perceived the project as a scandal, mainly because it was conceived in secrecy, which was perceived by some as a conflict with the Wikimedia community's transparency. In fact, some of the information available to the community was received through leaked documents the signpost published in 2016. Following this dispute, Wikimedia Foundation Executive Director Lila Tretikoff resigned. References External links Official website Wikimedia site navigation